What's going on with Wendy? Ah, yes. Welcome to LA TV. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me, LA. Pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Um, what's going on with Wendy? <laughs> Go Wendy, go Wendy. No, don't go Wendy. Go Wendy, go Wendy. No, don't go Wendy, girl. We need you. So, what's going on with Wendy? I'll be running the 10 minute vidya, not visual. Candlelight visual for Wendy. No, Vija, video, V-I-D-E-O, about what's going on with Wendy. But before we can figure out what's going on with Wendy, hey, what's going on with Wendy, we need to know exactly. What's going on with Wendy? Yes, welcome to LA TV. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me, LA. Pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Um, what's going on with Wendy? Hey, go Wendy, go Wendy. No, don't go Wendy. Go Wendy, go Wendy. No, don't go Wendy, girl. We need you. So what's going on with Wendy? I'll be running the 10 minute vidya, not visual. <laughs> Candlelight visual for Wendy. No, vidya, video, V-I-D-E-O, about what's going on with Wendy. But before we can figure out what's going on with Wendy, hey, what's going on with Wendy? We need to know exactly who, when he is now the people who don't know who the people who don't know who wendy is probably <laughs> been slaving away at the basement of the wendy's <laughs> restaurant where there's no tv making burgers cook the food cook the food and you ain't get no break neither let's go right in and say and say yeah let's go right in and say let's go right in and see exactly who wendy williams is now i have a calendar here i forgot it's a counter on the screen right there because i actually set up a really elaborate counter on my phone made the video and everything and how many times i did stream y'all apparently not enough because i forgot the timer right there so when 10 minutes come i'm, a, I'm going to stop welcome to what's going on with wendy um the la tv celebrity and things section i'm getting ready to share my screen so you guys can read along with me about who Wendy is now I'm working off a different computer so the way this is set up I really can't see which tabs is which so I'm gonna have to go in individually to see and that's a bummer there it is now let me come back here to make sure I'm adding this particular video to the screen and it's got a little lag in it too so we'll bear with me there it goes okay now Add to stream. I had to hurry and get back to this video because Wendy, this picture they're showing, she's showing a little too much cleavage, and I don't want to get flagged for indecent exposure. Oh, I have to cover those boobs up some more. Oh my gosh, because I do not want to get in trouble. Come on, cover up. Cover up. <sighs> the lag is real, y'all. Look, I'm like, I don't want to have to do this video over, but the way things are going, this video is going to have to be for mature audiences. Wendy, cook 
clothes cover them up, girl. Oh my gosh. Stop sharing. Now, this is just this technical error is cutting right all into my time. Now I have to see if it actually let me stop sharing. And I hope it did because I'm not doing this over. I am not editing this out. It's going to be what it's going to be. What's that? Was it a coded bird? Coded bird? Coded bird? Jaheim. What was that song? I mean, why he gets so bowed and bowed and at the end of the song? Oh, could it be the ice you see? Break your neck when you see me looking good, bird. I'm like, dog. Okay, very white. Trying to be like getting hyped in the soft fade. No, no. I mean, you should have been cranking up the volume towards the middle of the bridge, not at the end. But, you know, hey, who, 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 who am I to judge? Music. Yeah, okay. Wendy Williams Wikipedia. You guys, I'm going to try this again. Share, and I had to cover up those. It won't let me do it now. Ooh. I know I'm not the only one who have technical issues. I watch other YouTubers, and they are live. That's the thing. They're live, and they run into issues just like me. And, and it's, you know, they just tell... They just tell us like, yo, I'm running into issues. This is live. And when you hit the replay, just fast forward to the, you know, the first through the first five minutes. <laughs> Cause I'm stumbling up. Now did it share? Yup, it's sharing. It's sharing. <laughs> now on my few minutes I have left, I'll read it. Wendy Williams. This information is brought to you by Wikipedia.com. Wendy Williams from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. For other people named Wendy Williams, comma, see Wendy Williams, parenthesis, big old word I'm not going to figure out trying to pronounce, close parenthesis, Wendy Joan Williams, born July 18th, comma, 1964, close parenthesis, is an American broadcaster, comma, mega media personality, comma, businesswoman, comma, and writer. Now that I didn't know she was a writer. Since 2008, comma, she has hosted the nationally syndicated television talk show, The Wendy Williams Show. Da 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 da. Go Wendy, go Wendy. No, don't go Wendy. We need you, girl. Now this will be a nice time. To actually, see how much time I have. Maybe I, if I can hover over the tab, hover over the tab to see how many minutes I have. Six minutes. Okay, so I have about okay six six minus ten. Help me out. Four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can breeze through the rest of this paragraph before my time is up. Prior to television, comma, Wendy Williams was a radio DJ and host and quickly became known in the New York, known in New York as Shock Jockette. Jockette. It sounds like a tape docket. That's dope. Okay, play on words, right? She gained notoriety for her on-air spats with celebrities and was the subject of the 2006 VH1 reality television series, The Wendy Williams Experience, comma, which broadcast every surrounding which broadcast every surrounding her radio show. Now, that don't sound right, Wikipedia. I'm actually going to uh, uh, rewind and read that last sentence again because it's not sounding right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to read it again. It says, The Wendy Williams Experience, which broadcast events surrounding her radio show. Okay, that's a lot of words in the end of that. Okay, so which broadcast events surrounding her radio show. Nice! Final paragraph. Williams others and other endeavors include authoring several books. Wow. Appearances in various films and television shows, TV and TV, and her own product line, including a fashion line, comma, a jewelry collection, and a wig line. <laughs> Williams was included into the National Radio Hall of Fame. Yay! 
In 2009, on her 50th birthday, happy birthday, the council of Osbury Park, New Jersey, <laughs> renamed the street <laughs> on which she grew up, Wendy Williams Way. Oh, now that's cute. Go, Wendy Williams. See, I didn't even know all that about her. That is super cool. I may have to piggyback on that in the next video and talk more about that. All about that, though. Let me see. I, I think I'm doing good, y'all. I'm going to log back into StreamYard, per se, and see exactly where I'm at. Oh, nine minutes, 15 seconds, and counting. I did not know she did all that stuff. I knew she had a couple books. Let's say a few books. Uh, but I didn't know she, like, wrote them you know i thought she kind of just you know like you know talked and somebody typed it in so what are those books called autobiography uh well you know what i mean so i didn't know she actually pinned the book so i'm curious to see if um about that too so i might get into that so i'm going to actually take a note live on here wendy williams wrote some books <laughs> And I'm going to show y'all some proof verify that I actually wrote that. Wendy Williams wrote some books. Oh, look, that's my time, and I'm 10 seconds over. Until then, I'll see you on the next visual. <sighs> What's going on with Wendy? What's going on with Wendy? Hey, what's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Oh, another segment from the LA TV celebrity news and teens, T I N G S Z. I know there's a Z in there, everything else is kind of shuffled around some way. Anyways, welcome back. And what's going on with Wendy? Everyone wants to know. People who don't know who Wendy's is, we already clar clarified in the first video. <laughs> They're in the basement of Wendy's restaurant flipping burgers and there's no TVs down there and they don't get breaks. So have mercy on them. Moving forward, we want to know what's going on with Wendy. We introduced who she was in the... Um, the video prior and i'm a minute in and the goal is to give you information pertaining to wendy williams in 10 minute segments yay there's a lot of people in the world who have things to do and they have places to be and also <laughs> looks good on our video counts <laughs> Let's get ready to share in the screen so we can see what happened to our girl, Wendy. What's going on out here in this internet land? Is I want to know because we're on the street. Is She may not be coming back. Now, I think for like three years now, or let's say three seasons, there's been this pattern. You know, so I'm not sure if this time around, the second time around, still boss now. Shut up, woman. All right, y'all be quiet. We quit singing because y'all messing up this video. Step by step, day by day. Well, we know step by step, day by day, there's been a pattern where we, we hear that she may not be coming back or the date gets pushed back. I think that's how it is because it's not forward. Yeah, so the date gets pushed back. But this time, it is a little different. And... You know, she's not feeling too well, but we're going to learn and figure this out together because I want to know too. Sharing screen. Oh, yes. I had to um, go back into StreamYard and add the video so all of you can see. Uh-uh, y'all. Y'all see that? It took away the, the background I have. Let me see if I can add that back on there. It, like, went away. I went away. Oh, help me. <laughs> I 
So let me go to settings, go to green screen, put that back on. <sighs> let me see if this works now. Y'all, I don't know what happened. It's not supposed to be black. That sounds so racist. It's not supposed to be black. <laughs> Oh boy. So let's read this together. And we all know how YouTube is. Some words we have to filter out so we don't get what's the word? Demonetized. Yes, that's right, boys and girls. We don't want to get demonetized. So you know what we say in place of, in place of the C word, we call it on this platform the Tyrannosaur Rex. So I typed in on Google.com. Bing. What's going on with Wendy? With no question mark. And then the things that are coming up are as follows. Wendy Williams has the T-Rex. Wendy Williams get breakthrough T-Rex. Wendy Williams addresses concerns over her health. Dude, man, she go, I want her to pull through. I want her to come back on the show, but first and foremost, I just want her to pull through. You know what I'm saying? Now, now we just had a conversation about hoping somebody else pull through. Kelly Price, come on, y'all. You guys are celebrities. <laughs> we can't be having y'all get sick out here. <laughs> we know, look, I know y'all can at least at the bare minimum afford organic oranges. Work with us now. Now we know y'all can afford some organic oranges. That's all I had to say on that because on this platform we can share advice about how to heal one another because it's not confirmed by an authentic doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Williams has T Rex delaying talk show return. And let's go into this category and see what it says. We're learning together. This is from Variety.com. Thanks, Variety.com, for doing this uh, little article right here. We here so we can get the word on these YouTube screens, though, young man. Okay. It's low enough, a little too long. <laughs> you know, I only had 10 minutes to make something happen, Gavin. <laughs> as slow as this is going, nothing happened. <laughs> Right here, Wendy Williams has tested positive for a breakthrough Tyrannosaurus Rex case. As the talk show host is fully, hmm, can we even say this word? Lama Lama? <laughs> it's a stupid! In light of Williams' diagnosis, her daytime show is pushing back its fall return. Burr, burr, burr. Ah, uh, is it fall yet? Yes, it's fall, boys and girls, and she ain't on yet. Ah, oh, dang it, you! Ah. <sighs> While continuing her health evaluations, Wendy has tested positive for a breakthrough. How many times are they going to keep saying this? Or am I just forgetting my place? You know, it's hard to kind of follow and read along and, you know, tell them about the do do Okay, well, you know, I guess I'll read it again and have to use this ink pen to follow along <laughs> so I don't lose my place again. While well, continuing her health evaluation, <laughs> Wendy has tested positive for the nerds. Rex breakthrough case. According to a statement posted on her show's official Instagram account on Wednesday to allow Wendy time to quarantine and fully recover and to ensure that her production abides by all. What is all this? Capital S-A-G backspace A-F-T-R-A and capital G D-E. What is this y'all? D-G-A Tyrannosaurus Rex Protocols, comma, y'all need to stop and talk to us. <laughs> we expect to begin the 13th season of the Wendy Williams Show on Monday, October 4th. Y'all, it's uh, uh, October 10th. <laughs> Pay 
bang, we look if we got him. <laughs> Looks like she is having a good time. I don't think she go yet, y'all. Oh. So now I'm gonna have to scribble that down in my handy dandy notebook and see if Wendy is on. Is Wendy on? Is Wendy on? Question mark. So let me double back on um, StreamYard and see exactly where I'm at as far as my time. Eight minutes. I'm going to stop sharing. Well, look at y'all see that dude right there in the bottom right corner under the bold print that says must read. You see, I just realized how creepy he looks. He's got on this black hat and this black jacket looking like the tall man from, what's that scary movie? Is it the tall man from, um... It's a really old horror movie. It's crazy. And the dude, ugh, mausoleum or something, it's crazy. But it takes place in the mausoleum. But he looks like that guy. Let's just go on and get rid of him. So all I'm saying is here, I wrote in my notes so you can see, number one, I have Wendy Williams. She wrote a book that we learned. She wrote some books, not one book, two books, some books. And... Is Wendy Williams on, like on TV because it's supposed to be aired? I need to write that down. Hang on. Because it's supposed to be, it's S-U-P. To be on, was it the 10th? The 10th of this month. 10, dang it. No, not the 10th of this month. Ha! <laughs> the 4th of this month. 10 04 2021. So, is Wendy Williams? Wendy Williams wrote a book. Wendy Williams wrote some books. Yayo! <laughs> oh, no! that's our time. See you soon. What's going on with Wendy? Three, two, one, it's time to begin. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here today. I'm going to put on my magnificent, marvelous voice by so I want to accept this award, boys. Hey, what's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. It's been a long, good while, but I'm here again. Happy to be here. I miss not being here, but I'm here. Um, I'm going to be talking about. Kelly Price during celebrity news segment. Kelly, is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay? Kelly, hey, Michael. No, that's a little criminal. Wait, wait. Oh, I didn't hit that right. Let's start again. Ow! Hey! And that is a. Honey, are you okay? Take a promise. Are you okay? Okay, so Kelly, are you okay? You promise. Are you okay? <laughs> Kelly, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Kelly? Kelly, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Kelly? Okay, y'all ask me. Oh, y'all answer me this. How come in the Michael Jackson Smooth Criminal song slash video? Do the people at the end start sounding like chipmunks? Honey, are you okay? Think about this. Are you okay? You know, I kind of wonder if one of these little little toys were singing in the background, these little Funko Pop characters. Honey, are you okay? Don't go to Eddie. Okay. <laughs> I know this is not a laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter. And I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just how it's coming out. Kelly Price, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Kelly? Who? Who? <laughs>
Yeah, I'm back up in here. This ain't no lean neither. It's 100, 1,000% agua. And on that note, I realized, after I realized that I played the wrong intro. So let's start again. Take two, unedited. Boo! Kelly, is you okay? Is you okay? Who is you okay, Kelly? Kelly, is you okay? Is you okay? Is you okay, Kelly? Now, the correct intro. Who's back? It ain't Martin. Okay. <laughs> I have some notes here. Today I'll do my best to follow along to them on my LA TV clipboard. <laughs> my husband and I are moving up in the world. Like the Jeffersons. But we're moving higher than them. We in space, so yes. Okay, so we're talking about Kelly Price, and it's a lot of stuff going on, um, revolving, is it revolving around her and her family? I think the news broke a couple days ago, maybe a few days ago, three, two, or one days ago. And um, why I want to talk about it is because there's so many different storylines coming out. Um, around her where it's not making sense and a lot of people are naturally wondering if she is okay now i don't follow her that much but i do know about her um i remember her introduction into the music world as far as hip-hop goes is from the mo money mo problems video and i believe sean combs p diddy diddy Shiny suit man, whatever name he used back then, God bless him, the man of many names. Um, she made her splashy debut in the hip hop era, according to what I can see during that video, Mo Money Mo Problems. So that's when I first was introduced to her. Um, they said, they said, who was they? When she did a few interviews I listened to through the time, she actually got her start, I believe singing background for George Michael, rest in peace, George Michael. Dun, 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 you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Dun, dun, dun. And George Michael, rest his soul, did a debut per se in spirit form. Or I don't know, he was in the he was in the um Keanu um movie with King Pill and his his friend. If I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, but the Peel guy, Michael Peel, the Peel people, George Michael um for a good reference for you know the the new generation, George Michael is actually in um, Keanu with the cat, and Kelly Price also sung background, I believe, um, for Mariah Carey. I believe it was George Michael first, George Michael's first, and Kelly Price said that she, I think, for the, it was that edition, and then she did um, Mariah Carey. I think it was Mariah Carey's audition when Kelly Price was pregnant with a child. So it was kind of like a blessing slash miracle that she got that job. You go, girl. So moving on to that, that's a small rundown from what I can remember about her based on what I lived through and what I refreshed my memory on by watching videos that I am going to refer to you in this video. I even have my page tab set up so you can follow along with me. And so I can help myself keep on task too. I have a lot of notes. I wrote them. It's like six or seven pages. But the thing is, I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my notes to make this make sense. So let me see here. I'm going to start with um, my Breakfast Club notes, which is actually page 3A for me. So what I'm going to do is set up shop here and do my, what is that right there? Oh, don't want to push that button. At my banner, and I'm going to share my screen so I can, so you guys can follow along with me 
with uh, Breakfast Club. Share screen. Let's see here. Window, com tab. Oh, where is it? Because I'm actually, I want to share my screen using, um, oh no, not, not um, Google. I want to share screen using um, Bing. Let me try something really quick. Oh, stop sharing. <laughs> Let me see. I'm lost. Wait. Okay, there it is. I'm not editing this out. So, okay, here I am. And I'm going to do this again. Share. This is really fun, by the way. I can really take my time. I do enjoy the StreamYard app here that I'm using. Oh, there it is. I wonder if it'll let me just pick a tab. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Oh, StreamYard is sharing a window. I wonder if that means you guys can see it now. That would be kind of nice if you could see it now. Add to stream. Okay, I'm adding it to stream. And I'm going to go back into this window here. Because this is the one I want you to see right here. Kelly Price speaks on body shaming in the music industry, grief, growth, new album, which is called Grace and More. This um, video, as you can see, came out about five months ago, and I listened to it about two months after the video. So I listened to this about two months after this video was presented on Breakfast Club. So five months ago, I don't have my calendar. It's what is this, September and count five back. Woo, yes. So that's where we are. Um, let me see if I can fix this so it can perhaps be bigger. I don't want to be bigger. Hmm. I want, there we go. Kelly Bryce speaks on body shaming. Now I need to make sure this is muted because I wonder if I can zoom in. If I can just zoom in, it, it'll make a world of difference. That's a smart idea. I'm so smart, y'all. I'm 1,000% smart. So there she is. I don't know who Tisa Tales is, but hey, she's getting um, some promo on here. Hey, girl. But we want to focus on Breakfast Club. There. That's nice. So this is the interview with Kelly Price and the Breakfast Club. Once again, it was aired five months ago. Whatever five months ago was because it's September 26th today. And she said a lot of things. And I'm going to start here to open with this re regarding her um the breakfast club kelly price speaks on body shaming in the music industry grief growth new album grace and more this video came out about five months ago so whatever that means do the math okay she said here i just wanted to mention just to kind of list all the things that she's been going through her her father passed away when she was nine and she said her father had passed away due to substance abuse he had a substance abuse problem she didn't say exactly what substance abuse it was or substance it was but still it was a problem he passed away right before her 10th birthday and then after that she said we're not gonna call it c19 i like to call it the t-rex or the tyrannosaurus rex so so she received the you know what the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Roward, <laughs> Roward, <laughs> T-Rex, she received, her, her grandfather uh, received the T-Rex and he passed from it. Her grandmother also got the T-Rex, but she beat it. 
her that day, which was five months ago when this video was aired, her grandmother was 95 and about to turn 96. I hope her grandmother is still with us. So that's two things right there that she's going through within a five month span. You know, five months ago, geez, hold on, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. January, dog. <laughs> of a calendar so between that short time span that happened plus the passing of her father now this is something i want to quote so if you do want to go to watch the breakfast club the video where i start quoting from starts at 13 semicolon 03 then there's a slash that says one hour six second what is it one hour six minutes 40 seconds but i'll put the um the timestamp, I'll put the timestamp of this down in the comments too. But if you want to pause this and go straight to the Breakfast Club where this interview starts, which I'm quoting from, it's 13 minutes, three seconds. And I believe it was Charlemagne the God who who um, was asking her all of these really good questions. He was really leading the conversation with her and he did do a good job asking questions and he kept the he kept it serious it didn't go left at all so this is charlamagne the god and he was like your your grandparents gave you something that um that named your new album after grace grace and i always say you know like i was gonna ask you when is the time that you needed grace so I'm going to read that again <laughs> in my best Charlotte Ray the God interpretation. Your grandparents gave you something that, uh, that, you, that you named your new album after, Grace, Grace. And I always say, you know, like, I was going to ask you, when is the time that you needed Grace? So basically, he was asking Kelly Price and complimenting her at the same time that. Kelly Price Baxter basically went through a lot. Her grandparents put up with a lot of her things that they thought were not right according to the Bible back then. The number one thing that her grandparents provided kept provided Kelly Price with graces is by her being, I think, pregnant at 18. That's not holy, and her singing in the choir, XYZ. But her grandparents gave her grace through all that, despite of being holy rollers. And that's why Charlemagne was like, you know, your grandparents gave gave you grace. Grace. Always, you know, like I was going to ask you is the time that you needed grace. And Kelly responds, nodding her head slowly. Yeah, yeah. I need it a lot. Grace a lot in my lifetime. And we all do. Every time I talked about this project, when people ask me, um, I say, I think the problem is just we as humans we really can do better about extending grace to other people. Charlamagne was like, yep, yeah, well, well. And she carries on. Most of the time, we don't realize how important grace is until we need it for ourselves. And we find ourselves in a hot seat or people judging our actions, what we said, what they think about us, what they've heard. That's when people want to understand and listen. She continued on by listening and mentioning things regarding grace that went on as follows. Um, her saying, um, um, I have a a, a universe reading plan that's coming out. I think in about two weeks on the subject of grace. And I broke the word down into an act in a uh, acronym. Um, grace is a gift. It's the gift of giving, responsibility gift responsibility accountability of yourself and to respect the accountability of other people but with compassion and empathy that's real grace you are responsible and it should be given as freely as you are willing to receive grace you should give it that freely that's why i call it a gift you have the responsibility to be responsible. You should expect others to be responsible too. We should be accountable. You should hold other people accountable for their actions too. But the difference between that 
And that true act of grace is to do it in compassion and with empathy. Because at some point, when you need it, that's when you're going to get it. Boom. Oh, and the war goes to me. So basically, I will read it out of, I will reread it again. But I wanted to start it out by saying this to kind of wrap all this baloney, hoopla, allegations, speculations, people putting together mysteries and stuff about what's going on with Kelly Price. Because I can say that the lack of the lack of talking to your people, Miss Price, um, is kind of weird because we don't really specifically know if you're okay or not. We really don't know if you're okay or not. And you know, popping in even in the bonnet, even though uh, Monique don't like it, just pop in for one minute. Hey, I'm good. I'm sorry I didn't connect with you people, but I am okay. You don't have to necessarily talk to your family because if you do have some type of quarrel with your family, why would you? But on the fan tip, because some of your fans may actually love and care and respect you more than your family, and I understand that. I think it will be kind of nice to even leave a 30 second blurb showing that you're okay. Proof of life, unfortunately, to say. I'm concerned. So um, I'm going to read this quote again so it can kind of boomerang back to you, Kelly. And also back to YouTubers such as myself and everybody else who wants to put their five cents in to kind of. And her to her family, too. I'm going to read this again so we all can just be on the even kilter on how we approach this situation because it is shaky. So I really wrote down and listened to everything she said and wrote it down word by word. So I'm going to redo this without all the animations and say it again so it can seep in clear because it's funny. Five months ago, she was, Kelly Price was um, releasing an album called Grace. And then she's writing a book about grace. And this is the time now where we all could kind of universal, universally or unilaterally, one of those few words, to um, extend some grace all the way around on the even kilter and kind of look at this. But we are just worried. Um, let me see here. This is page 3B, 3B4. OK. This is what Kelly says once again in the Breakfast Club. Um, hang on. Excuse me. This is what Kelly said in the Breakfast Club interview, which I thought was good. Yeah, yeah. I needed grace a lot. Grace a lot in my lifetime. Wait, wait, wait. Let me start over. Hold the phone. Yeah. Yeah, I needed a lot of grace, a lot. And we all do. Every time I talked about this project, when people ask me, um, I say, I think the problem is just we as humans, we really can do better about extending grace to other people. Most of the time, we don't realize how important grace is until we need it for ourselves. And we find ourselves in a hot seat or people judging our actions. Or, we, or what you said, or what they think about us, or what they've heard. That's when, that's when we want people to understand and listen. She continued on by listening and mentioning things regarding grace that went on as follows. Um, I have a, a, U, a universe reading plan that's coming out. I think it's in about two weeks on the subject of grace. And I broke the word down into an uh, acronym. Grace is a gift. It's the gift of giving. Responsibility. Gift. Responsibility. Accountability of yourself and to respect the accountability of other people, but with compassion and empathy. That's real grace, she said with power. You are responsible and it should be given as freely as you are willing to receive grace. You should give it that way freely. So that's why I call it a gift. You have the responsibility to be responsible. You should expect others to be responsible too. We should be accountable. You should hold other people accountable for their actions too. 
The difference between that and true act of grace is to do it in compassion and with empathy. Because at some point, when you need it, that's what you're going to get. So Kelly, words of booming around back to you. I ask that you please send a little grace and mercy onto your people who really do care for you. Even though it may seem like the world is against you, there's at least five people who do care for you truly and deeply and are praying for you. I ask that you kind of remember what you said in that Breakfast Club interview and extend some grace onto us and to your sister. I don't know the truth behind the relationship between your sister who's out here running these campaigns looking for you. But um, from the outside looking in, okay? And from the people, the few percent of people who do love you in this big old dark world, I think you should let them know that you're good. You don't have to go into any elaborate details, but just let them know you're cool. Grace Kelly. Not Grace Kelly. <laughs> well, Grace Kelly. Sean J. Okay. But Grace Kelly, okay? And I do hope that you're all right. I'm going to stop sharing the screen and go back here to where I was at. Good job, Breakfast Club, for cap capturing this. And if there's anything you can do, Breakfast Club, to kind of see if you could find her. So now that I have that done, I'm going to actually use my yellow highlighter and X out this page with the yellow highlighter. Can you see it? Well, it's a yellow highlighter. And um, I'm going to exit out so I can not get lost. Let's see here. And there's a lot of stories going around. So what I want to do now. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but some time of y'all's I'm going to take. <laughs> Let me see. According to, okay, that's last. Once again, big up Charlemagne. Yeah, for having a really good professional interview um, with Kelly Price. I do appreciate that. Once again, Kelly, sorry about your loss that you had previous to the T-Rex happening because I believe in my notes you had a unfortunately a sister who passed and then you went through a divorce. The divorce actually was brought about according to what you said in the statement for the fact that your sister had passed. So I'm sorry about all these losses and how the, the, the love of your city from what I'm gathering of New York is not the same as it once was. That's another loss. Your kids are grown, so you're an empty nester. That's another loss. You're an African-American woman. That's another loss, and you know what I mean. It's a lot of losses, y'all. Y'all got to think about. And then she did get the T-Rex. All she had time to do was to sit and reflect. I think the C-19 allows people to reflect and really dig deep into themselves. And the only way you can pass the test is if you be real through real with yourself to come out at the end. So keep fighting, Miss Price. Be honest with yourself so you can get through this. T-Rex is a fire and it deals with each person personally. It's a Hades on Earth to prevent you from going to the Hades at the end. So I want to share my screen here let me see if it will let me segueing into another topic that makes perfect sense let me see i'll hurry up and share this page i'm going to share with you is kind of not protected but i still want to give credit where credit's due so i'll be in and out real quick and i wrote um, I wrote down what it said, okay? But I still want to give credit where credit is due. Share screen. 
so right here straight from the yay there's an article i found um talking about you know her divorce and here's some pictures and such but once again this website is unsecure it's not secure so i'm getting out of it but i just wanted to show you um show you something and just so you can have something to do instead of just um looking at here i'll keep it up so you guys can see it oh you know i don't think i share a screen yet fudge well th what i was saying is this is the um website i got i went to i'm only going to keep it up for a short time because it's got a, it's not secure but it's called straight from the a and it talks about mrs price divorce and the reasoning as to why it happened in the first place <laughs> so i just want to give credit to where credit is due but i did write down the quote that that she said regarding this i'm going to be in and out and i'm leaving that because it's un once again it's unsecure it's not secure so i'll just leave this page just so you can see that while i talk and make it bigger you guys can look at that so i um i'm really feeling this so let me find that article here here it is it's actually page two of my notes straight from the a.com is the website i just briefly showed you that was read it's an unsecure page, so I just wanted to show you really quickly and be out so I won't get it in any type of trouble on my end. And it says this, the article is from September 23rd, 2015. September 23rd, 2015. It is September 26, 2021. And I think this story actually broke around the same time Ms. Price had her divorce. So, um, it reads, R&B divas Kelly Price has officially filed for divorce from her husband of 23 years, Jeffrey Roll Sr. Now, I'm sorry if I said his last name wrong. It's pronounced, well, it's spelled R-O-L-L-E. -L -L -E, like, Roll, 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 Jelly Roll. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jelly Roll. The 42-year-old songstress hinted at trouble in her marriage last July when she announced she was divorcing Roll. <laughs> I think I'm saying this name wrong. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. <laughs> what movie was that from, boys and girls? Da, 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 da. It's from the craft. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, you're sorry, you die, you die, you die, you die. <laughs> Ooh, that woman was crazy. Hear me! Yes! Woo! We've lost a friend. Now, back to the story. Stick to the story! I can't stick to the story. I'm freestyling and I'm eating Fruit Loops at the same time. Look back here. Okay, um, Price has officially filed the papers to dissolve her marriage. Kelly Price announced her decision to get a divorce last July. Please note this article that I'm reading to you is posted on September 23rd, 2015. She has a prepared statement to she wrote a prepared statement to alwaysalist.com stating, that's alwaysalist.com stating, this is who she wrote her prepared letter to. After the untimely death of my sister last year, it weighed on me heavily that this was something we needed to do. I ultimately made the decision to live the best life I can. I ended things because I didn't want to compromise what true happiness was, what true happiness was anymore. There are no hard feelings, and I will love Jeff until the day I die. So, 
So circling back, she said after the untimely death of her sister, it weighed on her. So quite sure that meant she was close to her. You know, I'm sorry about your loss. Especially if you were close to them. If you're not really close, close is different. And that's sad, but that's just the way the world works. So, so she decided to, you know, her sister's passing pretty much gave her a perspective on, on things. That's what it is. Something's happening to my light. I think as it gets, as time goes on, these lights are getting brighter and are getting hotter. So it's like I'm fading away a little bit. But the quality is a lot better than the last two videos I made, I must say. I'm kind of short, too. Oh, no. That three hide my beloves. <laughs> Don't want the beloves to show. <laughs> oh, boy. For oh, mature audience only. Now. So, you know, her sister passed and she chose to follow divorce and made her turn around and have a different perspective on life. So, you know, I'm just saying this to say that since another thing happened as big as her sister's passing, the T-Rex was probably something that was just equivalent to that magnitude of her sister's passing. And it made her reevaluate some things. That I ain't supposed to be like that is going now. Being that she's at the second half of the best half of her life. She did motherhood already successfully. Her children are grown and beautiful. She was in the marriage for a good long time. She moved on. To my knowledge, she's in a relationship currently. And on a, and on a source, LarryReed.com. Is it LarryReed.com? LarryReedLive? Um, he got someone while he was on his live to call in to say that she perhaps may be married now to her boyfriend. And that they wed in, what, Las Vegas? So if that's the case, congratulations, Kelly. I hope that this time around, this marriage will be the bomb. Um, if that is true. And the information where I got that um, citing from in regards to Miss Price being now married and being wed in um, Nevada or somewhere in, where in Las Vegas is from the Larry We Live show. And it came from this particular video right here. The backstory to the disappearance of gospel and R&B singer Kelly Price. The backstory to the disappearance of gospel and R&B singer Kelly Price. That's the video right there. That's Larry, Mr. Larry, Larry, Larry Live. Um, that's where I got the information from in regards to him actually finding out while he was talking to his followers live, he had got an update from someone, from a source saying that. So to cover my behind, the information I just said in regards to information of kelly price now being wed is in that video that you see up there once again there's a lot of a lot of stories there's another word too, and there's a lot of timelines in regard to Miss Price that's happening as we speak. I typed in through Microsoft Bing, 
what's going on with Kelly Price. And as of now, it says Kelly Price is reportedly missing shortly after her release from a hospital in Georgia. The gospel singer was battling the T-Rex and revealed her diagnosis to fans two months before her disappearance. This information came, it was provided from the search engine of Bing and yes, that was helpful, submit. Um, and it's through the source of hollywoodunlocked.com. Let's go to it. Hope it's not gonna play. Hi, it's that one guy. It's that um, it's that one guy. He was just with was when he just with Tony Braxton. Was that dude? Was that Tony Braxton or was that the girl who made the S walk? They look alike now. Okay, so Hollywood Unlocked, written by Deja Monet. Oh, that's a pretty name. September 24th, 2021. Okay, so today's uh, September 26, 2021. So she just wrote this. This is fresh. On Hollywood Unlocked, written by Deja Monet. Hey, girl, thanks for putting this out. And this is a nice picture of Kelly. Thank you for doing that. Kelly Price reported missing in Georgia. Let me make sure I have my, um, what is it? T's dotted and I's crossed. Okay, Kelly Price is reportedly missing shortly after her release from a hospital in Georgia. I can minimize this now so everybody can see this just as well as I do. Kelly Price is reportedly missing shortly after her release from a hospital in Georgia. The gospel singer was battling the Tyrannosaurus Rex and revealed her diagnosis to fans two months before her disappearance. Price... Price's boyfriend reported, filed a missing persons report in Cow. In, Price's boyfriend reported, filed a missing report in Cobb County following a welfare check that took place at her home last Saturday. But authorities claim there was no foul play involved, according to TMZ. Price is now listed as a missing person, person with a National Crime Information Center, which is why you have to be careful if not to run with this information as gospel or anything because there's a lot of stories revolving around this and the timeline is a lot you'll have to sort through it each source depending on how much time you have to see which source is agreeing on the exact same thing you know you have to sift through all of this and see which party what is it you have to sift through all the sources to see what thing that every source is all saying and if you don't take the time to actually do that you could get in trouble and i'm not trying to be on here maliciously i just want to talk about it because i'm concerned to it i like kelly price's music from what i lightly follow i like her journey i like her ups and downs no pun intended with her weight loss you know, so she's a powerful singer. And she was a powerful singer when she lost the weight, too. I don't know if. Adele was blessed to keep her strong vocals when she lost the weight or not. That's neither here nor there per se, but Kelly's voice is still attacked with or without the weight. That's terrible. Let's go. Um, Prior to her sudden disappearance, Price revealed to her fans back in July that she was battling the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the symptoms were taking a toll on her. She was admitted to a hospital approximately a week later and placed in the ICU after her symptoms worsened. Her family also said she was in contact with them during 
what? Her family also says she was in contact with them during her stay at the hospital in August, and her children visited her several times. Three weeks after, comma, Price's children received a phone call that she was discharged from the hospital, although they said she didn't appear to be fully recovered from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't think you necessarily have to be completely, she's alive, you know, rise from your grave, but you got to be good enough to get out because they need to put some more bodies in the bed, bodies in the bed, all of y'all and y'all have more bodies in the bed. She's good enough to go home and go home enough to recover. If you hear all that noise in the background, that's our cat Tango. We've got a couple of boxes here and he just threw his body into the box and slid down off of this thing I have on the floor. So her family added that Price's boyfriend is reportedly preventing friends and family from visiting her home. Based on the facts, an investigation is currently underway to find the singer. Now, like I just said before, on the platform, Larry Reed, he got some information that said that she's now married to her boyfriend. But on this article written a couple of days ago, 23rd, I keep looking at the date. There's a date down in my corner, so I can just remember the date and keep in time with what's going on. And, you know, according to this article a couple of days ago, 23rd, it's still stating that. You know, that's her boyfriend. But nonetheless, I'm not spreading the word that she's married. I'm just telling you all these stories that I'm hearing from different platforms. But you can't hold one thing over the other. And you can't hold one platform over the, uh, over the other, per se. But you can check all platforms and see which platform what platforms are saying all the same things despite all the things that are coming up so this is kind of a fun way to fact check and make sure you don't get in trouble so that's that that's a nice picture thank you hollywood unlock thank you um deja monet and once again this is the larry reed live show as you can see when the, the story first broke you know he was um on there talking about what he had heard and it's pretty much what i'm talking about all these speculations of seeing miss price and her boyfriend out at a restaurant you know i think this is after the hospital thing this video is right here talking about what I just said that he's got information that she's not married and then this is the video that happened today and the woman to the left in the green is Kelly Price's sister what I'm gathering she's the one who's been going around asking Miss Price to come forth and let her know that she's okay and on that note there's a quote she said from today's Larry Reed Live's um, video, as you can see from four hours ago. Let me see. Hope I don't have crumbs on my face. I don't have my mirror here. Dude, I'm looking for that page. All right here. So the video, 92621. This video is called, um, this video that you're looking at now with the thumbnail with the lady in the green and Kelly Price is called Update Kelly Price Located by Close Family Member Question Mark Combo with Sh Sean Ray Price Live. So Sean Ray is her sister. Let me see if I can make this small so you guys can see it. Oh, yeah, that's a 300%. So there it is. There's the there's the um 
There's the title up there, Update Kelly Price Located by Close Family Member Question Mark. So her sister said in closing, the woman in the green, that when and if she gets the chance to talk to her sister, be it face to face or over the phone somehow, she's going to have strong conversations with her. Strong conversations will be held once getting the chance to speak with her sister. Strong conversations meaning she, you know, just asking her like, yo, where have you been? Why have you left this hanging? Why have you left this high and dry? Her sister, um, was it Shan Ray? Said that she had got a piece today that she, that, that she said over the Larry Relies um, video today. She got a piece today because she found out that her sister is okay. And how she found that out was through a friend whose word she holds weight to. That woman told her that Kelly is okay. So that gave Kelly's sister, the lady to the left in the green, Sean Ray, um, a piece. Although she hadn't really heard from her, like face to face or, um, you know, on the telephone, Nikki Gilbert, which is the woman who um, she takes her word for strongly, you know, someone she can trust by her giving her the confirmation that she's cool. Her sister was able to, you know, come on the platform and let everybody know that she's going to calm her nerves, which is good because you don't need to be having your nerves up while the Tyrannosaurus Rex is going around. So thanks to Nikki Gilbert, thanks for um, Sean Ray Price coming on, letting us know that. And to my knowledge, because I haven't searched beyond that point, beyond that four hour mark that you see up there, I haven't found any more information uh, pertaining to that, but I do hope she's okay. But that's the word we got, that she is okay. And she's just trying to recover from that. And pretty much, I can say all across the board, from these platforms that's been out she did get the tyrannosaurus rex and on top of that she's just tired who wouldn't be if you are the cash cow of your family and you get treated as such i'd be tired too and i want a vacation as well from all that because after all the goal is to get better and you the last thing you want is to be surrounded by um people asking you for for anything like that when the concern should be to to make her be okay but the concern the concern to making her be okay shouldn't be out of the guise of we got to get this cash cow up and running you know don't miley cyrus her <laughs> don't britney spears her you know just don't keep her around healthy just so you guys can get cash from her i think i disappeared too so Let's see here. What do I have in here? I'm going through everything. I had a good time taking my notes, making sure I said everything, and I'm giving credit where credit is due. Thanks to all the YouTubers who have been providing good information because from each platform, I've been able to get other things out of it to share with you guys so you can go to their platform and see for yourself. <clears throat> I'm looking just one moment. Oh yeah, that's an article on T that TMZ provided too. Let me see how how um, let me stop sharing this. Let me see how long this video is. Oh, it's just now just an hour in. I didn't I didn't type that in yet because I do want to see the TMZ one because the last um, video we last article we read I think did reference TMZ and we were looking at Hollywood a lot so let me see if I can find something on here real quick while I look I think I can play a video this will give you guys some time to um, refresh unwind gather your notes see for yourself all the links I shared real quick you can go on um, Look at that real quick while I play this video. Then we can all be caught up at the same time.
So what I'm gonna do is just actually play the song one more time.
welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed the intermission. I know I did. That song is awesome. I also play it quite frequently now on my Instagram in the um, what's called the mirror tab. What do you call it? It only lasts 24 hours. That tab. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to the TMC thing. TMC. TMZ. <laughs> Let me look it up. TMZ. Let me see. Written by TMZ. I'm looking for TMZ.com. That's where you go, right? Come on. TMZ. I know they have like their own website. Yeah. Let's see if I can find her. Oh boy. It's a lot of news filled in here already. It's a lot of stuff that's happening in between time. So I might have to. They have a search bar, so I can type it in the search bar. But perhaps I'll get to where I'm trying to be. 9.25, Pastor Singer, Kelly Fassin, Stephen Hunter, so is amazing. Here's something. 9.25, that's from 26. Oh, the server returned an uh, internal error. Let me look on my notes to see where that article came from. I'm going to share the screen. Um, so you guys can see what I just saw. Because perhaps I went to the wrong one. So I'll go share. Share screen. Hey. Let's try this again, boys and girls. Hey. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Okay, look, we're on TMZ. I tried to go here first. This was dated 92521. Gospel singer Kelly Price seems to confirm herself. She's not missing. Whoa. Something is broken. We'll fix it as soon as possible. Sorry for any inconvenience that this has caused. Well, I'm going to go to this one. Gospel singer Kelly Price in a scene in Georgia after receiving the T-Rex battle, revealing the T-Rex battle. I do it say, now this one was written 9-24-21, 3.05 p.m. PT, PT. And there's the picture that they chose. Gospel singer Kelly Price has gone missing in Georgia. TMZ has learned. And it happened shortly after she was released from the hospital after battling the Tyrannosaurus Rex. According to officials in Cobb County, Kelly has been listed as missing as a missing person following a welfare check conducted at her home last Sunday. We're told the authorities found no evidence of foul play and spoke with Kelly's boyfriend at the residence, but she's now listed as missing with the National Crime Information Center. Now, According to, let's go here, a new update that just happened right after this went out on TMZ. Let me go to the link. According to the Armand Wiggins show, word just came in. Kelly Price, not okay, allegedly in long-term care. Facility on ventilator. Family not listed as contact. Towards the start of this video, which is right here, let's magnify that so everybody can see. There she is. And once again, this video is called Hey. Okay, the video wasn't called Hey, but I, th <laughs> I thought I wrote that down. <laughs> 
Kelly Price not okay, allegedly in long-term care facility on ventilator and family not listed as contact. So, um, according to the Armand Ligon show, that's what it says, and the video was released um, yesterday. This video was, as you can see, one day ago, and the article is read from TMZ. And I'll read what the articles, I think I just read the article from TMZ. So the information that came in right after TMZ released the article I just read, which was this here. After TMZ released the article I just read, which is right here, provided by TMZ, an update came in. And the update said, um, in, in, in the voice, it says, so after a few hours after TMZ article broke, Kelly Price lawyer came out and said, she's fine. She's safe. She's recovering from the T-Rex. But she didn't disclose the location. So at least I know Kelly Price lawyer is a woman. That's what I'm gathering. I didn't know because I thought Kelly Price lawyer was a, a guy, but it's a girl. So once again, this is what the um, lawyer came out to say. Um, where is it? I shall hold my place as I turn the page. So a few hours after TMZ article broke, Kelly Price's lawyer came out and said she's fine. She said she's recovered from the T-Rex. Well, she didn't disclose the location. <laughs> so she's fine. She says she did record the location. And that kind of goes along with the video that came out today, which was time step four hours ago. That um, she got word from her sister, the lady in the thumbnail with the green, which is Kelly's sister, the green, um, stating that a trusted source said that she's good. So that gave her sister peace knowing that this trusted source that they've trusted for a long time, you know, reached out to say, to say that she's good. So everything's adding up collectively that is circling around that she is okay. But she really wants to be left alone. And who can blame her in a time like this? She got to focus on healing because she's, even though her kids are grown, she's still a mom. And she belongs to someone, so she, you know she's with a she's got a boyfriend slash a fiance. They haven't declared what's going on with that yet, but she's with someone, so she's got other people too. So she's got to get well for. Her. So I said all that to say that. So I documented everything in a timeline form to show that everything's adding up slowly but surely, and it's starting to show that she is fine, but she just really wants to be left alone. And she didn't add her parents or, well, not her parents, rest in peace. She didn't add her close to kin, like relatives, like aunts and uncles, because that was her purpose. And usually when people don't add certain family members on, it's because it's, they're going to cause too much havoc. And if you're in the hospital trying to get killed, the last thing you want is more drama. So she just didn't add those people on the list to come, to come see her because it would have cost too much stress. Rightfully so in a smart move. So she's healing. She doesn't want to be bothered by people causing her too much stress while she's dealing with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But a lot of people just wish, even though that is the case, that she did like a 15 second TikTok, even if she had a bonnet on her face, she didn't have to have makeup on just to say, yo, I'm okay, and then be out. But once again, she doesn't have to please anybody. You know, she don't have to live for the fans, but the fans are concerned. And that's just about as far as it's going to go. I am going to conclude once again with the long-winded quote that she said, which is good. That she said on The Breakfast Club. Let me see if I can go back to The Breakfast Club. Oh, here. And this video was good too. Um, I have to give credit to where credit is due. Let's see here. Shout out. You know, where's that? Nowhere I got that information from. Cause that was good too. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because I did read that video. That was good. Okay, hang on. Let me read this. Excuse me. Oh yeah, so this circles back to what I was saying, how it's good to fact check and just see when you look on everyone's platform to see what everyone's talking about mm -hmm. and find the things that everyone's saying just through all the speculations and stuff. And here's another um, source, I believe this is the video here from the Wiley Show and the video is got, I don't know, this is the Nicki, the Nicki Minaj one. So this is the video with the video about Kelly Price is in the video thumbnail with, with Nicki Minaj with her purple hair and stuff. And that video, so you can look at it, is called um, Exclusive Tasha K Defend Nicki Minaj, Karen Civil versus Jason Lee, Omni, and something is arrested. Even though Kelly Price isn't in the um, title, her pictures on the thumbnail and it also reiterates what the lawyer said in the sh in the show here so it says um from his point of view he didn't from his point of view he didn't feel worried and gathering from what <laughs> all this what it is that she just didn't want to be bothered so he didn't feel worried that you know something was wrong with her but just simply wanted to get away from the, the ruckus of family pulling on her and once again, references that TMZ also reported that Kelly Chrysler reported that Kelly is not missing. She is healing from the T-Rex, from the T-Rex and the place not listed, which makes sense. Why would they tell the public where she's going to heal? Because that will cause more stress. It was funny though. Um, let me see. Yup, because of the, he was going on the rent. She tired. She tired of y'all bother her. <laughs> she tired of y'all bother her for money. She left ya. <laughs> like, oh man. But yeah, I'm saying all that to say everything's wrapping up. She seems to be doing good, and I'm gonna piggyback to breakfast though, because that was a good interview. And I'm going to end with the quote she stated in regards to her album called Grace that came out five months ago. And then after those five months, the, 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 the album Grace came out five months ago. So upon her release, two weeks after the release of her CD Grace, was going to be a book that she wrote accompanying the message she was bringing. I think that book is also called Grace. So... In alignment to what's going on with her right now, and piggybacking on what she said, she, you know, everybody extend everyone some grace in regards to this this missing this um this story of her being supposedly missing, and family and friends, you know, extend a level of grace with compassion and empathy. As she goes through the Tyrannosaurus Rex, because I'm quite sure it's scary and it's stressful. And she's at a new point in her life once again. Her kids are grown, so she's an empty nester. She's lost a lot of family due to the T-Rex. You know, she lost a sister before that, and then the divorce. I mean, she's going through a lot. So, let me find that page so I can wrap this up because it's really good what she said. Once again, thanks Breakfast Club for interviewing her. It was a good interview. And I think I listened to it. I know I listened to it at least two times when she was on there. It was good. It's really good. So it says the Breakfast Club, the video that is titled um, Kelly Price Speaks on Body Shaming in the Music Industry, Grief, Growth. Her new album, Grace, and more. This video came out five months ago. And her getting on the whole topic of Grace is when she was segued into 
um, being referred to how her grandparents gave her grace despite of them being over religious. They gave her grace and and showed compassion, empathy to her when she was pretty much considered homeless and pregnant and 18. They extended her grace during those times where you know you really shunned upon to be like that and religious. So having said that, Kelly responded, nodding her head slowly. Yeah, yeah, I need it a lot. Grace a lot in my life, and we all do. Every time I talk about this project, when people ask me, I um, I say, I think the problem is just we as humans, we really can do better about extending grace to other people. Most of the time, we don't realize how important grace is until we need it for ourselves, and we find ourselves in a hot seat, or people judging our actions, or what we said, or what they think about us, or what they've heard. That's when we want people to understand and listen. She continued on by listening, listen, listing and mentioning things regarding grace that went on as follows. Let's see here. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I have a U verse reading plan that's coming out. I think it, I think in about two weeks on the subject of grace, and I broke the word down into an acronym. Grace is a gift. It's the gift of giving, responsibility, gift, responsibility, accountability of yourself, and to expect accountability of other people, but with compassion and empathy. That's real grace. You are responsible and it should be given as freely as you are willing to receive grace. You should give it that, you should give it that freely. So that's why I call it a gift. You have the responsibility to be responsible. You should expect others to be responsible too. We should be accountable. You should hold other people accountable for their actions too. But the difference between just that and the true act of grace is to do it in compassion and with empathy. Because at some point, when you need it, that's what you're going to want. So in closing, I close with those words that Kelly Price said while she was um, going on her promotional tour and campaign about the album Grace and the book that she wrote about the deepness and originality and the true meaning of grace which is empathy which is empathy and compassion grace is real authentic empathy and compassion so in this time of her distress let's all think about exercising what her album cover is about in the book it's a mission statement that she wrote having some grace empathy and compassion and regarding her in this situation and I hope that her family and friends are saying the same thing to her while she's going through this and I wish all the best to her family while they're coping with this this was a good live I had at the time please go to the um, YouTube channels I refer to regarding this topic tell them a LA TV you know <laughs> I had a great time, Kelly Price. Get well soon. Thanks for coming out with another album. Thanks for coming out with some good music. Um, wishing you the best. And like you said in your previous article from like 2015, you had to start making choices that reflected your true happiness. So I hope in this time of Tyrannosaurus Rex, you are doing that again. Finding your true happiness and not living for others, but living for what you know is right and it seemed like five months ago you were right on the great path so I can't wait till you get better so I can continue hearing you go on these um, podcast, to, podcast tours talking about grace and how you grew up in New York and stuff I really enjoyed that interview that you did on the breakfast club it was very encouraging and how you were honest about the um, whole body image thing you struggled with that was good that was real good. And telling us about how you were poor and went from school to school. It was just a great story. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you for being real with us in regards to your life and how it was hard coming up. 
you know, you had a baby and stuff so young. And that's, that could be scary. So my name's LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm crazy. Signing out. Y'all have a good night. Order a mask. 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 Buy 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 a mask. Order 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 a mask. Buy 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 a mask. What's up, it's me, L.A., pronounced like L.A., like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm Brazer. What's going on with Wendy? And what's going on with Wendy? And I'm not talking about Wendy with the bigger fries. Oh! <laughs> what's going on with Wendy? Part three. Wendy's wrong with Wendy. Yeah, you. Yo, we got the yin yang twins on our set. They back there. They do the sound effects. We push a little button on the wall right here. So every time we push this button, they, you know, say, yay, for us. You know, we got it like that on LA TV. You know, you know, you know how we do. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a recap of video one and two because it's just that interesting. But let me tell you, for those who have been following along diligently, there was a screen on the Wendy Williams video too at the end where we were talking about, um, let me see here, when Wendy is supposed to come back. But like I said, at the bottom right, it was a picture of this old creepy guy dressed in all black, looking crazy in a tall hat, looking like the tall man. So I found the movie as I took my break for the video to download it to safely into the computer. The movie is called Phantasm. It came out in 1979 and is categorized in the genre. Or is it? Dang, yeah. <laughs> like the novel that nobody read <laughs> in high school. <laughs> all right, all right. So it's in the category, aka genre, backslash, dang, yeah. Of horror slash fiction, and it's a minute and twenty. Wait, it's an hour and twenty nine minutes. So I'm going to see if I can show this screen. Oh, y'all need to see that. Man, I, look, it's just that's just a love note I wrote my husband. I keep it in my phone. I need to take that out because that ain't none of y'all business. I'm gonna share this phone with y'all so y'all can see. This is pretty much um the movie I was talking about how that old man looked, how he reminded me of the guy from Phantasma. It's a little grainy, but that's how you spell it, P-H-A-N-T-A-S-M. It's a really good movie. It's so creepy and weird. 
it's so it's really so authentic and i honestly think american horror story which my husband taught me story not stories with the nest i think american horror story should um get their inspiration from these movies this this franchise of movies because this right in the lines of being like super duper creepy weird like like their stuff you know what i have a, um what do you call it i have like a night light i have a night light on my phone so y'all probably didn't see that so so my screen won't be so bright and hurt my eyes so we have video one we just did the introductory of wendy williams and we realized she wrote some books i'm going to actually share my screen and go back into a rough um touch over on that because there's some other information that needs to be read slash share with you guys to kind of tie into these other videos as we go along window y'all this hat on my head is getting tight it's like i have a wig on and it's hurting right here but now i want to take it off because you know if i take it off it's gonna leave that dent and i don't want that dent in my head while i'm making this video Ooh, the price we have to pay what well, we're doing the job we left it. Thank you, Lord. And then the pastor be sweating. The sacrifice. The sacrifice. Let's <laughs> jump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, kill tell it hurt. Oh, I'm not going there tonight. Okay, let's see here. Let me double check that it's being shared with you. And it's not. <laughs> add to stream, LA, add it to stream. There we are. I have about five minutes to get through this. There she is, early life. She's cute. Look at that. I'm wondering what picture of how old she was when she took this. There she is, Wendy Williams, as like a child. Wendy Joan Williams was born on July 18th, 1964, in Osbury Park, New Jersey. She is the second of three children born to Shirley, parenthesis, knee skinner, in parenthesis, comma, a special education teacher, and Thomas Dwayne Williams. On an English teacher and school principal. The couple had combined three master's degrees and traveled around the world. And that's not Disney World. Often buying pieces of, to decorate their home with. In 1970, the family moved to the upper middle class suburban community of Wayside in the Ocean Township, New Jersey. Y'all, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know where these places at. Sound like something on the OC TV show. So right now, I just sound like I'm just reading a fantasy novel about some teens in high school, and they're just setting the scene. I just don't know where she's at. <laughs> As a child, doctors recommended Williams be... Oh, no. I don't want to read that. Just let it close my eyes. Girl. What is, I mean, I just, they just painted a beautiful view of how she grew up to establish that she didn't grow up in the chicken shack in the back wooded area with an outhouse. She grew up with the rich people. And then they're going to throw this in that some. This wasn't no shade. This was darkness. This was a cloak of darkness. This wasn't the light shade. But I must read it because it says here on Wikipedia. And we are all learning this together. <sighs> here we go. As a child, comma, doctors recommended women's be, all, be medicated to control her hyperactivity. Y'all need to stop. And then they go after the beyond shade, a cloak of darkness. Then they're going to follow with the a, a sunshine statement. Talk about some. She was a brownie in the Girl Scouts and volunteer as a candy striper. Y'all need to quit. 
I need to rewrite this over for Wendy. Anyways, let me see how much time we have. Wendy, I, on behalf of LA TV platform, I want to apologize for the Beyond Shade. That was a cloak of darkness that threw in the end of a delightful setting of your beautiful, wealthy background in a happy two-parent home. So we're going to just focus on that to get a background of where you came from to establish how you started and where you are today. Okay, how you doing? Okay, now. Let me see how much time I have. <laughs> Let me see how much. Oh, it's at 8.30. So we just read that part. And that's the picture of her. And now leave it up there so you can have something to do. Wendy Williams wrote some books. We talked about that. And the next thing we talked about, which um, caught my eye. Thank you to, I believe it was called, it was called Variety or Varsity. It was called varietyorvarsity.com, where they actually said at the end of the article that the show was actually supposed to air October 4th of this year, which was a Monday. And today is October 6th, and it is a Wednesday. So it says at the bottom here, and let me make sure you guys see what, do you see what I see? No, you don't see what I see, so I'm glad I checked. Oh, stream y'all. I'm going to chop you in half. <laughs> now, this is messing up my flow because I don't know. I don't know where to go. Okay, so I need to stop sharing. Share again. Look, I only have 15 seconds. So we'll have to end right there. This is fun. I'm trying to make an impact in 10 minutes. Dun, dun, dun. So we'll leave it right there. And then the next thing we'll do is go into seeing if she actually aired or not. Did she air or no, no. But y'all, yeah, thank you. So we'll leave it right there. What's going on with Wendy? It's recording. Start the show. What's going on with Wendy? Remove that part from there! They can hear you! Be quiet! Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, LA. Pronounced like LA like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Look, we have a little staffing issue behind the scenes, as you can hear. They don't know when to cut their microphones off when we're recording. We're sorry! Hey, you get what you pay for, and I'm not paying them nothing but dry cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> now get back to work. Ooh. Yep. Uh, internship. Cheap labor. Keep that in mind, everyone. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the show. We are, let me see, four videos in to the What's Going On with Wendy saga. <laughs> We're going to turn this into a saga. Now, I have saga rounds with agua. Close enough. Water break. And I have some Fruit Loops. Can y'all see? Like that, like the bald headed chick from Minority Report. Can't you see? <laughs> Can't you see? Like, no, because your big old head in the way. <laughs> oh, welcome back. What's what, what do the fancy rich people say at the, at the corporate meetings? Let's dive right in. Really, my eyes. <laughs> Let's share the screen. Yay! Can she do it right this time? Window. Chrome tab. Share screen. <laughs> now let me make sure that you can see. See? 
add to stream. I seem to always forget the most important part when sharing the screen is to actually share the screen. <laughs> and drop down in the comments below to please tell me what I'm doing wrong because I don't know why I cannot get my background to be in the background while I'm showing you the stuff in the foreground. Babe, I'm asking you should be, what is it, deliver it, whatever, something that the Bible say. Do, 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 do. Do 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 I did it. Yeah, hush the collection. Play the round. Proceeds go to LA TV. And I do 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 instead of these clouds i'm so happy this is coming together ah so professional now let's get to what is really going on today's video number four did the show air or no nah? that's exactly what i'm going to title it did the show air or no nah? and let me see so in google.com i did type that well did the wendy williams show come on yeah question mark so i'm learning this live and in color right before your eyes because i don't know according to www.usatoday.com what is that arrow entertainment arrow 2021 okay so this was written yesterday Wait a second. Hold on. I'm getting these numbers mixed up because they're writing it all backwards. Who writes the date first? Who writes the date? Who writes the year first? Help. <laughs> it's got 2021 this year, 0930. Oh, my gosh. So that was um last month. I wonder if they have anything current. That is, that is, uh, wow, that's December 11th. Well, let me, um, let me go to it and see. This is at the top of the key. Top of the key, y'all. So, let's read it. It's from, what did I just say? USAToday.com, and they are saying, that's not that's not wendy williams that's a, a another lady on here but it says the wendy williams show episodes delay due to medical issues but no long to the dinosaurs rest the wait for new episodes of the wendy williams show just got a little bit longer ah, a little bit longer oh son of a now, Tommy, you can't use swear words or you'll get demonetized. What's demonetized? I mean, you ain't going to have to wash your mind if you don't quit cussing. Oh. <laughs> no, I hope this video don't play because I cannot have this playing or you'll get demonetized. <sighs> you two, y'all got to do a little bit better, but here we are. We all in this together. And look at the tab closed. The tab closed. Let me see if I can dive into my or delve into my short term memory bank and remember what I just typed. Fingers crossed. Jeez. History. She's cheating. <laughs> Wendy Williams is the wendy william w-i-l-l-i-a-m-s show dang it s-h-o-w show s-h-s-h-o-w oh hey i'm an author my weak my strongness is creativity i am 
what's the word that they say? Vigorously trying to improve my spelling skills. Now, let me see your show. That's close enough. But I'm not putting it on no front that I can spell. Y'all see it in the thing. I'm, I'm typing it in. But here I am. No edits. Okay, Wendy Williams show. Wow, that was a nice article, but it closed. But it was old, too. I really wish I could remember what I typed in prior. And, you know, it's not even showing me what I typed in anymore prior. That was going to be a good article. But from what I gathered, as you saw, that she is still feeling ill, but it's no longer due to the T-Rex. So, yay! I guess it's safe to say that she doesn't have the T-Rex anymore, but she's still recovering. I mean... From what I've been hearing since the Tyrannosaurus Rex been out, you know, people get healed from it. Oh, wow, my screen isn't sharing anymore. People get healed from it, but the recovery part is another challenge. So, I mean, from what I'm gathering, she's done with that. But now, let the healing begin. I didn't know all this time I wasn't even sharing my screen. It had timed out on me or something. So perhaps I'll, in the next video, pick up where we left off and show the first article and then bring us back to where we are here. This is so fun. I don't have to write as many notes because of this program. I can just show you as I go. And these, it's also, give, it's also doing the citation. Mm-hmm. So there she is. And I typed in, is the Wendy Williams show still on? It's like on per se, but it's not on because she's still recovering from something that is not to what they say, Tyrannosaurus Rex related. Oh, you know what? I remember where I was at now. So what I'll do is hit the backspace and leave it there because I'm quite sure my 10 minutes is wrapping up. Wendy Williams show USA Today. Yeah, they had this USA Today's got this pop up in there, and I had to close it because I was a sure if the music was playing. Let the music play. Yada yada yada. Okay. So we'll come right and stop sharing the screen now. We'll pick up right there and read that article some more. Oh, yeah, because I'm over. Why didn't y'all tell me? Stop talking, LA. The video over with 10 minute quota. Bye. What's going on with Wendy? Hey, what's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Today is 9 27 2021. So that means it's September 27, 2021. I was here yesterday and technically a few hours ago reporting on the um, Kelly, the Kelly Price saga. Saga, saga. I don't want no saga. I just want a saga. That's what I want. That's what I want. Yeah. Mercy, 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 mercy. Saga, 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 saga. <laughs> Kelly Price Saga. That was from Bad Boys Movie Part One. I was in middle school. I had wood shop class. I probably was in fifth grade or sixth grade. I want to say fifth grade, so that was like 90, 90, late 94, late 94, early 95. But I know I was in middle school upstairs because the uh, student was upstairs in the middle. Was that middle school? Yeah, middle school. Fifth and sixth graders were upstairs. So I believe I was either in fifth or sixth grade. I want to say fifth, Woodshop, Saga, Shaga. When she said Shaga, I know she wasn't saying Shaba. Or was she saying shy guy, like S-H-Y space bar G-U-Y? Or was she? <laughs> Too many S's. 
too much in the morning. What's up? It's me, LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. About to get into the celebrity uh, news and teens. Or did I call it celebrity gossip and teens? It's something in teens brought to you by none other than LA TV. <laughs> it's early, y'all. Let's get into the song. Kelly Price. Kelly Price. Saga. Saga. To be very careful where I place my water. It's on my table. And of course, this table is filled with electronic devices. But I really don't want to have to keep bending down to pick up my cup. I'll have to ask my husband what I can do to what I can do to um, set this up better so I can have my cup within within arm's reach i have long arms so saying within arm's reach is not the right cliche and or slogan i'm supposed to be saying within hand reach within reach oh, i gotta figure out something else to say i have long arms so within arm's reach is just an understatement for someone like me dang it I don't know what to do when it's taking up too much time. I just don't want the perspiration from this cup to start spilling out on my spilling out over my desk. Ha! You don't got to say a word. Ha! You don't got to say a word. Ooh, yes, say. Okay. So we're here. We have an update for Kelly Price. I woke up this morning, helped my husband. Help my husband get I didn't help him get ready for work. I made breakfast for him, breakfast burritos. And I was scrolling through my phone looking for something to listen to to get me going in one day. We had coffee together. Coffee, coffee. And lo and behold, this video popped in my timeline. So I'm going to get ready to share screen. Y'all like my clipboard. I made it myself. My husband bought me the clipboard and then I covered it myself. I love you, my husband. Um, have fun at work. So I'm going to share the screen and show you the um, information. I, uh, dang, it, it's, it's, I'm multi-talented, but I fail at multitasking. So as you see, I'm trying to talk to you and look at the screen. It's not really happening too well, but I'm trying to keep the audience engaged. <laughs> Let's see here. Which one am I looking at? Well, I'll try this one. I hope this is the right one I'm sharing. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, boy. Let's see. And then I'm maneuvering my head around because I have the, um, oh, see, that was the wrong one. I have the, a ring light in front of the way of the um task bar so it's hard to see what i'm doing i don't want to add this one stop screen um share 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 Woo! window i don't understand i don't i don't understand why isn't this showing up share it didn't even leave it on the picture. I had to say it had a really nice picture. So, um, oh, stop sharing. I had to go say it to a really nice picture. I actually prepped, I actually had this prep, you guys, before um, I started, which is why I don't know why I'm having um, issues. Because I want this picture to show of her and not something else. Let me figure it out. Phone tab. I 
don't understand why it's not showing. I don't, I want to share. Wow, I have an issue. I want this one to share because it's just better. And I want to give shouts out to the people I got the information from. Hmm. And I'm not editing this out. I have to keep going. Dang. Son of a building block. It's right there. Hmm. Let me see. Share, share screen, share screen, window, wonder if this is it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I think I did it. Okay. Add to stream. What's throwing me off is you see the picture is black. So when the tab shrank, it didn't show the picture. So I kept overlooking it. Because when I scroll down into my toolbar here, it shows the picture of there she is. Good mercy. Good mercy. Boom. Straight job. How many times I got to whack a boom. Whack a Bitch, your ass to get something done. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I'm channeling my father. <laughs> Making light of a situation. I'm starting to see that this is perhaps glitching. So, there's Kelly Price. And hopefully I can get this to stop glitching because I want this to work. There she is. We've got articles down there I'm working on. And there she is. This is um this is the page I was referred to at top that came right in my timeline. And the thing is, I, I'm not even subscribed to this platform, but it came through. So Google Analytics come through because you're referring me to people I've never heard of or have not subscribed to or may have forgot about and forgot to subscribe to. So I was referred to Gunsmoke blog. So what I'm going to do before I start yapping some more is make sure StreamYard is not glitching on me. Do I look good? Everything's showing up okay? There she is, the Kelly Price story. It keeps turning black. I hope that that gets situated um, in a timely manner. There. Mm -hmm. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. There it is. Kelly Price speaks out. My daughter was manipulated, full, exclusive interview. There. I'm having technical difficulties like the other YouTubers have. Welcome to the club, LA. And I'm not going to edit this out. So, I, uh, this is the one, right? Yep. So, Gunsmoke blog. This came up, and so I listened to it twice. And then I played it back and wrote down everything she said in here. So, this was good, and it's an update. I 
Kelly, thank you for responding back to us. I'm glad you're okay. And you look great. That's why I was so pressed this morning to get this particular picture because this interview, you look nice. And I took the time to find a good a still frame to um, show of you up there. Look at you. You look good, girl. It don't even look like you went through the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You look, you look great. Well, I'm glad you're better. You look great. So I'm going to just read what she said in this interview um, thingy here. Kelly said, um, I woke up some days later, a couple of days later, and the first thing I remember is the team of doctors standing around me and asking me if I knew what year it was. The interviewer asked Kelly, wait, when you say they lost you, can you clarify what that means? Kelly continued saying, yeah, I, I died. I died. Um, and the next thing, I, it was some days later, I remember, uh, I remember waking up in ICU and the doctor asking me if I remember what year it was. I'm sorry. What day? If I knew what year it was. Going into the hospital, I actually had Tyrannosaurus Rex for over a week. But my conditions were progressing um, in the wrong direction from home and um, were jumping all the way into. So uh, I had it. Um, my husband did not have it. He was taking care of me at home, um, speaking with my primary care physician, giving me breathing, breathing treatments, um, giving me my medicine every four hours. He was um, in constant communication with her. Uh, Eventually, he ended up testing positive uh, within a week after I got it. And just and prior to me going into the hospital room, she could see she was seeing me. She could see she was seeing me every day on FaceTime and walking him through administration meds. And uh, when he goes to <laughs> keep the character. <laughs> To me, going into hospital, um, she could see she was seeing me every day on FaceTime and walking him through administration, administrating meds. And um, when it go to when it got to a point, my temperature had raised right to about 103, and my breathing was extremely shallow. So um, he called the ambulance, so I had to go to the hospital. I was discharged. The hospital needed beds. I was able to go home. She clears her throat and continues. I go home with oxygen. I have home health aides come check on me throughout the week, which is what happened for a period of four weeks after being released from the hospital. So people were definitely seeing me. The people that could actually say something are not allowed to because of HIPAA, because of HIPAA law. But I was being seen several times a week by home health aides after being released um, on oxygen. And I, I actually just got my first clean T-Rex test possible, probably exactly a week ago. It hasn't been two months since I've seen my sister. It's been a year. I haven't been in the same room with her since my mother's funeral. Prior to that, we hadn't seen each other all pandemic long. That's not new for us. It's not new for us. We've been strained for a very long time. I was never missing. I was never missing. So I have what is called long-term T-Rex. Um, and I'm facing a very uphill battle um, right now. So um, I have a lot of rehabbing to do. Um, I suffered a lot of internal damage. So I, um, I have a lot of rehabbing to do before. I'm able to do what I like to call concert ready. Again, um, following the year, I had losing so many people. Um, I had just lost my grandmother before I was diagnosed. and um, I just need, I feel like the only way I can focus on me is to actually focus on me. 
there were people I don't know how fans or whoever they were coming to my house people ringing the bell leaving things at my doorstep disturbing my neighbors all the times of day and night I've had had that happen it got to the point and this wasn't months ago I literally just left my house maybe a week ago because I couldn't rest there my doorbell was ringing My doorbell was being rung all hours of the day and night. Um, I turned off everything. I wasn't on social media. It hasn't been two months since I've seen my sister. It's been a year. I haven't been in the same room with her since my mother's funeral. Prior to that, we hadn't seen each other all pandemic long. That's not for us. That's not new for us. It's not new for us. We've been strained for a very long time. I was never missing. I was never missing. I was in my home. I was being seen by my doctors. First and foremost, the two people in the house with the T-Rex, we both had T-Rex. Um, There was no visiting. There was no visiting the house. We both had active T-Rex cases. Everyone in my family knew exactly where I was. And I have to say, it's really disappointing that things came to this, but it was not true. And even when it comes to my daughter, I, I feel like she was easily manipulated. She's, people are saying she's a kid. She's not a kid. She's 27 years old. She's my youngest. But in that situation, she was easily manipulated. And to, to go along with that, um, she's my baby. I have never been in danger. I am not in danger right now. I am focusing on putting myself first. Kelly, tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. What? Tell it like it is. Oh, my God. You know all those <laughs> bluesy people sing. Gunsmoke blog, thank you for popping up in my feed. So I'm giving credit where credit is due because it's fun to cite sources because it's sharing. You don't necessarily have to share um, gratuity in the form of gratuity, meaning money. But there's other ways you can share the wealth. And that's simply by what I'm doing. And that's what I'm doing. And it feels great. Thank you, Gunsmoke blog. Like, share, subscribe, everybody. And watch me push that subscribe right here live on my platform. I am going to stop sharing the screen, go back to StreamYard. We're 18 minutes in. So I'm going to leave with that. She's okay. And she really told it like it was. I have some pointers here that I highlighted that I want to reiterate before I close, looking at my timer up there, we're at 19 minutes. So I circled the fact that she has a husband. So it's been declared that she is married. Yay, throw the rice, throw the rice, hey, hey throw the rice, hey, hey, throw the rice. What's the song? Race through, oh, 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 race through, oh, 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 throw the rice. Congratulations, Kelly, on your new marriage. She is a wife again. Looks like you made a good choice marrying him because he's taking care of you through sickness and in health. She's married, and it was true. The Larry Reed Life platform did break that news. Um, it was live what yesterday. Don't quote me, but it was in Larry Reed Live's video, okay? And in my last video, I'll show you which video that was stated in saying that she is married. So congratulations, Kelly. Out of her mouth, she said that I had it. Um, My husband did not have it. He was taking care of me at home. Speaking with my primary care physician, giving me breathing, breathing treatments, Um, giving me my medicine every four hours. He was um in constant communication with her. And uh, eventually, he ended up testing positive. So kudos to your husband. Go, girl. I'm married to and I love the married life. And, and next notes, I highlighted in yellow so I could come back. 
Look at my chicken scratch. If I hold it back, you can see that is yellow. It's picking up weird. My green screen and my lighting ha hating on me. Please, speaking of, where is the um banner? Please donate to my cash app so I can take some lighting lessons. <sighs> so the next thing I circled, which looks like it's black, it's black right there, but it's actually highlighted in yellow, okay? It says, um, actually, I just got my first clean T-Rex test probably exactly a week ago. So that's good. She tested positive. No, no, no. She tested not positive for a clean T-Rex test. Gone girl. Gone girl. You know you're doing 100% better when you can eat fried chicken. I don't think it's good to eat fried chicken when you have the T-Rex because your stomach just don't want it. I heard that you just don't want anything. So when you start getting cravings to real good southern home down cooked food, you well on your way. So I'm praying for food cravings for you girl so you can eat, get healthy. And not even come out to sing, but just eat and get healthy so you can go back to, what does that lady say in the eyes? No, in the whiz. Go back to doing your business. We can all go back to doing our business. Come on. You can go down. You can go down the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can all go back to doing our business. We can all go back to doing our business. So. She tested clean for the T-Rex. And I'm sorry to hear about the internal damage. That's heavy, but it's true. It do intact internally. And that's like metaphorically speaking too. It attacks internally, like the physical and internally. So you got to be one tough cookie to endure that. So I'm wishing you super strength, titanium, super man brain powers and strength and strong internal organs so you can go on and get through it. Once again, not so you can sing, but so you can get back to focusing on you and having fun. Let's see here. I'm sorry about your grandma. I was hoping in the last video I made, which is the first video I ever made about you, that she was um going to make it. I am so... So, so, so sorry that you lost your grandma. You said you just lost your grandmother before you were diagnosed. And then I like this quote. I'm going to read it again. I just need, feel like the only way I can focus on me is to actually focus on me. That's correct. I knew that was the case. You have to. How else are you going to get better? You have to focus on yourself. It's not being selfish. I'm glad you're focusing on you. I'm glad you have a husband to take care of you. Thanks, man, for taking care of her. I highlighted here. Now, this is the part where a lot of YouTubers say, I have the tea. And speaking of tea, Lovely tea, 2002. This is the part right here where she'll go. She'll have her mug and she'll go, honey. Honey. <laughs> I got some tea for you. <laughs> well, honey, I have tea for you. That's not me saying tea, but I, it made me think of her because this is the part where she would say that. And they, I quote right here. It's highlighting the pink. You can actually see the pink. And you can actually see my writing. That's my writing. And I'm going to read the part highlighted in pink. It hasn't been two months since I've seen my sister. Check. It's been a year. Boom. <laughs> I haven't been in the same room with her since my mother's funeral. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. And then um, Armand Wiggins drops 
the bombs and <laughs> Wally Show drops the bombs. <laughs> Who else drops the bombs? Kevin Sang will be dropping bombs. <laughs> Breakfast Club will be dropping the bombs. <laughs> I gotta read that again. It hasn't been two months since I've seen my sister. It's been a year. I haven't been in the same room with her since my kid's mother started. To clear speculations of how strong or no their relationship is, Kelly politely and cordially clears the air. Drop the bomb! <laughs> Drop the mic for Kelly Price. Kevin Hart, run, tell that. Kelly Price putting all y'all in check. Woo ha! Kelly putting y'all all in check. Ha! Y'all, 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 I circled this and underlined in red. I was never missing. Hold the phone. Oh, I was never missing. 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 She said with a stank attitude. Okay, she didn't. I'm just <laughs> Laying it all thick. <laughs> but she there were people, I don't know how fans or whoever they were, coming to my house. People ringing the bell, leaving things at my doorstep, disturbing my neighbors all times of the day and night. I have had that happen. It got to the point, and this was a month ago, I literally just left my house maybe a week ago because I couldn't rest there. My doorbell was being wrong all hours of the day and night. She said she was never missing. Oh, I was never missing. Oh, it was nerve You know how they do the slow motion on the part where they're like, say what? She was never missing. And as I glide through Instagram real quick and look through my timeline feed, there is stuff going on about something about the brat saying something, about confessing that Kelly Press was never missing. She's been well all this time. And, and other stories coming up that <laughs> the sister in the green shirt on Larry Live's thumbnail that I posted up has set this up. So let me see. I can so I can get the name right. So don't you just love when your teacher do that? Nikki Gilbert could get some clout. I'm gonna tell y'all something real quick. I think the same can't see the forest between amongst the trees can go right here. I may not know completely what it's saying, but right here down my spirit section. I think I know that's what what it means. But um we just got good news. Kelly Price came out here live and in color with the t-rex looking good no bonnet on her head telling us the whole running and run down and y'all still scrambling around talking about these stories and speculating ladies about this and that and her sister cloud chasing the thing is it's new videos i understand if it was yesterday's videos that came out prior before this breaking news six hours ago of her showing her face on tmz and being okay but from what I'm gathering, this stuff is vomiting out after the fact. 
maybe they don't know yet. No, they know yet because it's tying right in long with as if they seen the video and they're still talking. They're still rebuttaling this whole thing that she came on camera, showed her entire body saying that she's okay and they're talking about some speculatory stuff yeah but maybe this yeah but no she ain't all right i know she lying y'all can believe what y'all won't think what you want she's good and uh i was never missing i was never missing and it hasn't been two months since i've seen my sister it's been a year. I haven't been in the same with her since my mother's funeral. God dang it. And this concludes our broadcast day. Thank you, Kelly. Order a mask. 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 Buy 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 a mask. Order 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 a mask. Buy 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 a mask. What's going on with Wendy? <laughs> oh man, y'all, I keep laughing at that. That's so funny. What's going on with Wendy? Hey, what's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Welcome to another Wendy Williams saga video. As you can see, this this look like it's kind of fix the light right there it's crackling a little bit but look at that it's very clear now so what's going on wendy number five i don't want to talk about this but we have to talk about it because it's actually going on in her world what is it coincide coinciding clashing and or colliding one of those words one of those c words that go in the blank that best describes the situation i'm about to introduce and describe to y'all <laughs> my face is getting oily and i'm not even sweating under all these lights but i'm picking up a shine where's the makeup people with the powder put the powder on the face oh we had to let them go <laughs> times get tough around here when tyrannosaurus rex here we had to do some cutbacks like i said in with video number two we have interns here but we only feed them we pay them in dry cereal and they can't do nothing right but they gonna put it on their resume though <sighs> gotta come from something <laughs> if you be quiet and not be quiet y'all might can hear them talking in the background hold on let me pretend i'm walking away from the camera but i'm actually gonna walk away from the camera you won't see me, but they're going to not see me, so they're going to start talking. 
So when I come back, put in the comments to see if they start talking or not. Our interns are crazy and they sound funny too. Hang on. I think she's gone. I can't stand working here. She only pays us cereal. Well, you're the one who asked for cereal. You said you wanted nothing more but just to work with the LA TV company. I know, but that was before the time when the source breaks happened. Now we're doomed. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Let me see here. And <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see me or not. Yep, I'm back. Did they say anything? Y'all, y'all gonna tell me I need to move forward. People today never happy with nothing. <laughs> complain, complain, complain. I'm gonna have to talk, talk to my husband about these interns. We might have to let them go. <laughs> Let's move on because we have to get to the darker side of this, which is sad, a sad reality. I need to put a highlighter right here because it's actually, this is video number six. So this would be like, you know how they have the turning point in a movie, the turning point in the script? Well, this is our turning point. And it's in regards to Nick Cannon because I actually think um he's trying to fight for uh wendy williams slot if she unfortunately don't return so i have nick cannon is he going to replace her her meaning wendy williams but just in case the wendy williams doesn't get better in time is nick cannon the plan b for wendy williams and that's unfortunately what it's looking like oh, so what happened it seems like three or four days ago time is going by so fast but the Armand Wiggins show had the sh Nick Cannon's pilot show airing, so everyone was watching that. And and it's um, it's it's no no hate and no shade. It's boring. It's like dog man, he can't replace Wendy. It's it's the show is not good. They might have to find another plan B. If if Wendy Williams heaven forbid have to get replaced, that show with Nick Cannon is terrible. But he's got so many other jobs, so it's really, I don't, he don't really, really need that job, man. He don't like too many. But the show is really boring. It's really boring, so they have to find somebody else. That's just my opinion. So I'm going to share the screen so you can see what, what the um, newspaper articles are talking about. We are halfway in. Let's get to it. Share. Share. <laughs> Share the screen. I don't want to share the screen. Let me go to Bing. I think they showed it in Bing. Share screen. I need to close some of these tabs so it can work a little bit smoother. Can you guys see anything? I don't see anything. So, I mean, if I don't see anything, you probably don't see anything. Let me refresh the page. It's loading up now. Okay, so let me go to... Stream yard. Yay. <laughs> and share... Well, what the unfortunate news is, well, that's how business goes. It's just life. Unfortunately, you do have to move on. So here it is in full color. Thank you, MicrosoftBeing.com. I just simply, I just simply typed in Wendy Williams. I don't like the disrespect of that. I just wanted to read about Wendy Williams. And when I typed her up, to the left is Nick Cannon, and he's not supposed to be right there. It's supposed to be just Wendy. So I feel some type of way about that already. I think it's a little bit disrespectful. Yeah, it's officially unofficial that he probably is the runner-up to take her spot in the TV world. But dang, put some respect on Wendy. You know, I just don't like that. And then they showed they did the same thing. When I typed in Wendy Williams' name in the Google search, instead of her just showing up like it used to, they have Nick Cannon on there again. 
Oh, but there he is. Network eyes Nick Cannon to take over Wendy Williams' time slot amid health-related hiatus. I can't even say that with splendor and all because, number one, the show is whack. Number two, they're disrespecting Wendy, pushing her out before she's out officially. And I saw the show. <sighs> Oh man, I need to retype my green screen. Retype my green screen is splitting the part. I mean, no, I had to have a window open sometimes, get a little fresh air. Okay, so here we are, bing.com slash news. Let's go to the article. Uh, let's see how much time we have. Maybe we could just cut it here. Okay, let's not be biased. <laughs> As I roll my eyes. Okay, here it is. Network eyes new cannon to take over Wendy Williams' time slot. I'm going to read this in the hashtag me all boys. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can... um. Stop chasing! You ain't got the job yet! <laughs> Network eyes Nick Cannon to take over Wendy Williams' time slot. I miss health-related hiatus. <sighs> there it is, guys. It's true. And we did see the pilot. It's, they've been running a few shows, you know, trial shows to actually get the the feed and the read of the audience. And right now, it's, it's it's really mixed. I think that's what I'll talk about next. It's really mixed. It's a really mixed, really mixed view. So they might actually have to have a part, a plan, a plan C, because that slot needs to be filled. So it says, Nick Cannon and his new daytime talk show could replace Wendy Williams' time slot amid her continuous health issues. Bummer. Okay, let me go back and see how much time we have. That's terrible. I want Wendy to, to first and foremost get better. And if she chooses on her own not to come back, I want that to be her decision. And then I want them to give her the proper farewell. Don't just do that to her. That's just not cool. What was the movie? In? It was in uh, a Disney movie and it was Genie. He's like, number three, I don't raise people from the dead. I just don't like doing it. They shouldn't do it. It's not cool. So I'll stop sharing that. And so the notes are true. Everything's falling into place. And that's the sad news right there. But I had to, you know, bring everything to light. And that's what's happening. We lost Ellen DeGeneres already. We lost Wendy Williams. Ellen, I think she, she got fired. Wendy, man, TV's changing, guys. I just want them to replace them with people who are going to be able to hold her. Hold it. If not, just play Wendy Williams reruns until y'all can actually find somebody that's worthy to take her spot. It's me, LA, pronounced like Ellie, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. And I'm going to wrap it up right there and probably make me some french fries. I'm hungry. What's going on with Wendy? Okay. What's going on with Wendy? I don't think that's ever gonna get old, y'all. What's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. We are in video five of what's going on with Wendy, or should I say, what's going on with Wendy? Saga! And that sound effect was brought to you by hashtag meow cat. If you haven't bought a hashtag meow mask, I think you should do that. And having said that, we're gonna put our plug in with our own LA TV customized hashtag meow cat masks. Please order one today. 
Linking all that jazz is below in the description right at the bottom. Yodele. Order a mask. 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 Buy 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 a mask. Order a mask. Order a mask. Yes, order a mask from the hashtag MeowCat brought to you from LATV. LATV, LATV presents the hashtag MeowCat, and the hashtag MeowCat is presented to you. Customized, authentic guard from the LATV platform. Hashtag Meow Mask. In light of the Tyrannosaurus Rex going around, speaking of the Tyrannosaurus Rex going around in the commercial, the hashtag Meow Cat sound like he heard Tyrannosaurus Rex. He sounds so tired. So if you want to inbox the hashtag Meow Cat, watch some of his videos, they'll be up above in the description there you'll see a list of things first and foremost you'll see my husband up there chile you'll see latv2 you'll see that in you'll see uncle freddy you'll see the hashtag meow cat push that cute little paw print in it'll direct you or redirect you right to the hashtag meow exclusive page where you can see all content all the time of hashtag meow cat he is our cat and he lives here and he's a part of our family <laughs> moving forward and onward towards towards i still have fruits fruits are good and they keep me going while i'm making these videos because they do take a lot of energy you like my sleeves aren't they nice they're festive and colorful for halloween we're going to start in with um piggybacking to the previous article in video four that I thought I was sharing, but it, it timed itself out. So I don't think you saw it all. So let's go right to there because we're three minutes in. So that will give me a cool five minutes by the time I set up <laughs> to show you what's going on. Once again, I'm learning this right now in person and it's fun. I didn't want to do too much research. I could only go by what I heard by listening to other bloggers talk about it. But I'm really actually looking for this stuff together now which article i think this is the article and for share uh, that's the article i don't know why they keep showing that lady instead of wendy williams so we're gonna have to figure that out too because that don't make sense that's not wendy that's not wendy that's 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 not wendy <laughs> that's not wendy Yes, I know. We we've, we've come to that conclusion that that's that's not windy. Okay, thank you USA Today.com. The Wendy Williams show episodes delayed due to medical issues, but not but no longer um T-Rex related. Let's move. Who is this lady down here? D W T S. This has nothing to do with her. Okay. The wait for ep for new episodes of the Wendy Williams show just got a little bit longer. Talk show host, let me make sure. This is where I stopped before and I realized that I was not sharing. Yes, it's sharing. Yay, we can get back to it. We can all get back to our business. And let me close this out of here. Get out of here. We're talking about you. We're talking about Wendy. The wait for new episode of the Wendy Williams show just got a little bit longer. The talk show host Williams has expected to begin the 13th season of her series on Monday, October 4th, due to some, and they underline this, ongoing medical issues, comma, end quote. That premiere has been delayed for at least two weeks. No! Two weeks. What was that now? Two weeks. It's coming again, and then smoke start coming out. <laughs> Wendy will not be returning with her new shows on October 4th. 
read a statement posted to the Wendy Williams Show Instagram account. Yes, Miss Wendy has an Instagram account. Follow her. It's pretty darn interesting. I follow her. It's all well formatted and put together. It's, it's really nice. Let me see here. So blah, 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 Thursday morning. That was posted on her Instagram. She has been and continues to be under a doctor's care and is still not ready to return to work. We plan to return with new shows on October 18th. Okay, we got another day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> Push the button. Yeah, you. October 18th. So well, let's see. That's like next week, right? 6, 12, 18. Okay, a week and a half away, two weeks. We plan to return with a new show on October 18th. I can't wait. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. <laughs> they watch. A day prior, the show's social media accounts had teased Williams' return to television, counting down the delays until the show was back on air. Thank you, um, usatoday.com for informing us on an update. No wonder why you didn't post anything else, because there's nothing else to... There's nothing left to say. Mint condition. Okay, so this was, um, uh, wait. Page unresponsive. Clear. <laughs> Clear. I'm wait. I'm looking for the date. But as I recall, this article, oh, there it is, was done September 30th, 2021. Published at, published at 11.56 a.m., updated 5.28 p.m. Eastern Time, September 30th, 2021. So we have to wait. And I hope that everything all will be well with Wendy per 18th. Oh, look, it's more stuff to say. Let me have a sip of water, then I'll read the rest of this. When the Wendy's production, I read it backwards. When the production of Wendy Williams shut down at the onset of the pandemic, her daytime talk show went remote for two months from her home. It sure did. I liked it, too. The pandemic does not affect how we do our show. When I get out there and there's no audience and there's no co-host, it doesn't matter, Williams told her, told USA Today last September, adding that fans can expect that the same Wendy, same giggle, same show. Yay! How you doing? In May 2020, Williams paused her at-home broadcast after experiencing fatigue stemming from her previously diagnosed Graves' disease, a condition which leads to the overproduction of thyroid hormones and can cause wide-ranging symptoms and will affect overall health. Yeah, because I think it is affecting her legs, which is why she wears sneakers with her dresses, which has always been in before it wasn't in. So go, Wendy. Because, I mean, after all, if you're a lady and you do like to wear dresses and you're on the go, I don't care what they say. Your feet are going to hurt, whether you know how to walk in heels or not. Some days you just want to put your dress on and not worry about rolling your ankle. <laughs> so that's that with Wendy. Speedy recovery for there. I'm so happy to find that out. I just found that out to get a live on the <laughs> so i put wait but i don't need to share that anymore and i also need to go back and see what time it is I actually got lost in that article i've learned so much look at that it's nine minutes 45 seconds and counting this is great this is fun and we just got some answers we got some answers y'all she should be returning on the 18th. Keep me posted down in the comments if you figure out or find out anything else. And I'm going to wrap wrap it up here. What's going on with Wendy? of some days later, a couple of days later, and the first thing I remember is the team of doctors standing around me and asking me if I knew what year it was.
the interviewer asked Kelly. Wait, when you say they lost you, can you clarify what that means? Kelly said, yeah, I, I died. I died. Um, and the next thing I, it was some days later I remember, uh, I remember waking up in the ICU and the doctor asking me if I remember what year it was. Hey, what's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Today is 9 27, 2021. So that means it's September 27, 2021. I was here yesterday and technically a few hours ago reporting on the um, Kelly. The Kelly Price saga. Saga, saga. I don't want no saga. I just want a saga. That's what I want, yeah. That's what I want, yeah. Mercy, 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 mercy. Saga, 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 saga. <laughs> Kelly Price saga. That was from Bad Boys movie part one. I was in middle school. I had woodshop class. I probably was in fifth grade or sixth grade. I want to say fifth grade. So that was like 90, 90, late 94, late 94, early 95. But I know I was in middle school upstairs because the uh, students upstairs in the middle, was that middle school? Yeah, middle school, fifth and sixth graders were upstairs. So I believe I was either in fifth or sixth grade. I want to say fifth, woodshop, saga, shaga. Was she saying shaga? I know she wasn't saying shaba. Or was she saying shy guy? Like S-H-Y space bar G-U-Y. Or was she? <laughs> Too many S's. Too much in the morning. What's up? It's me, LA. Like the city. I'm not from there. But I'm breezy. About to get into the celebrity uh, news and teens. Or did I call it celebrity gossip in teens? It's something in teens brought to you by none other than LA TV. <laughs> it's early, y'all. Let's get into the song. Kelly Bryce. Kelly Bryce. Saga! Saga! To be very careful where I place my water. It's on my table. And of course, this table is filled with electronic devices. But I really don't want to have to keep bending down to pick up my cup. I'll have to ask my husband what I can do to what I can do to um, set this up better so I can have my cup within within arm's reach i have long arms so saying within arm's reach is not the right cliche and or slogan i'm supposed to be saying within hand reach within reach oh, i gotta figure out something else to say i have long arms so within arm's reach is just an understatement for someone like me dang it I don't know what to do when it's taking up too much time. I just don't want the perspiration from this cup to start spilling out on my spilling out over my desk. Ha! You don't got to say a word. Ha! You don't got to say a word. Ooh, yes, say. Okay. So we're here. We have an update for Kelly Price. I woke up this morning, helped my husband. Help my husband get, I didn't help him get ready for work. I made breakfast for him, breakfast burritos. And I was scrolling through my phone looking for something to listen to to get me going in my day. We had coffee together. Coffee, coffee. 
And lo and behold, this video popped in my timeline. So I'm going to get ready to share screen. Y'all like my clipboard? I made it myself. My husband bought me the clipboard and then I covered it myself. I love you, my husband. Um, have fun at work. So I'm going to share the screen and show you the um information. I uh dang it, it's just I'm multi-talented, but I fail at multitasking. So as you see, I'm trying to talk to you and look at the screen. It's not really happening too well, but I'm trying to keep the audience engaged. <laughs> Let's see here, which one am I looking at? Well, I'll try this one. I hope this is the right one I'm sharing. Oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh boy, let's see. And then I'm maneuvering my head around because I have the, um, oh, see, that was the wrong one. I have the, a ring light in front of the way of the um, task bar. So it's hard to see what I'm doing. I don't want to add this one. Stop screen. Um, share. 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 Woo. Window. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. Why isn't this showing up? Share. It didn't even leave it on the picture. I had to say it had a really nice picture. So um. Oh, stop sharing. I had it on say to a really nice picture. I actually prep. I actually had this prep, you guys, before um, I started, which is why I don't know why I'm having um, issues. Because I want this picture to show of her and not something else. Let me figure it out. Chrome tab. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why it's not showing. I don't, I want to share. Wow, I have an issue. I want this one to share because it's just better. And I want to give shouts out to the people I got the information from. Hmm. And I'm not editing this out. I have to keep going. Dang. Son of a building block. It's right there. Hmm. Let me see. Share. Share screen, share screen, window. I wonder if this is it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I think I did it. Okay, add to stream. What's throwing me off is you see the picture is black. So when the tab shrank, it didn't show the picture. So I kept overlooking it. Because when I scroll down into my toolbar here, it shows the picture of there she is. Good mercy. Good mercy. Boom. Stand top. How many times I got to whack up? Boom, whack a bitch your ass to get something done. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I'm channeling my father. <laughs> Making light of a situation. I'm starting to see that this is perhaps glitching. So, there's Kelly Price. And hopefully I can get this to stop glitching because I want this to work. There she is. We've got articles down there I'm working on. 
and there she is. This is um this is the page I was referred to at top that came right in my timeline. And the thing is, I, I'm not even subscribed to this platform, but it came through. So Google Analytics come through because you're referring me to people I've never heard of or have not subscribed to or may have forgot about and forgot to subscribe to. So I was referred to Gunsmoke Blog. So what I'm going to do before I start yapping some more is make sure StreamYard is not glitching on me. Do I look good? Everything's showing up okay? There she is, the Kelly Price story. It keeps turning black. I hope that that gets situated um, in a timely manner. There. Meow, 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 meow. There it is. Kelly Price speaks out. My daughter was manipulated, full, exclusive interview. There. I'm having technical difficulties like the other YouTubers have. Welcome to the club, Belle. And I'm not going to edit this out. So, I, uh, this is the one, right? Yep. So, Gunsmoke blog. This came up, and so I listened to it twice. And then I played it back and wrote down everything she said in here. So, this was good, and it's an update. Kelly, thank you for responding back to us. I'm glad you're okay. And you look great. That's why I was so pressed this morning to get this particular picture because this interview, you look nice. And I took the time to find a good a still frame to um, show of you up there. Look at you. You look good, girl. It don't even look like you went through the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You look, you look great. Well, I'm glad you're better. You look great. So I'm going to just read what she said in this interview um, thingy here. Kelly said, um, I woke up some days later, a couple of days later, and the first thing I remember. Remember is the team of doctors standing around me and asking me if I knew what year it was. The interviewer asks Kelly, wait, when you say they lost you, can you clarify what that means? Kelly continued saying, yeah, I, I died. I died. Um, And the next thing, I, it was some days later, I remember, uh, I remember waking up in ICU and the doctor asking me if I remember what year it was. I'm sorry. What day? If I knew what year it was, going into the hospital, I actually had Tyrannosaurus Rex for over a week, but my conditions were progressing um, in the wrong direction from home and um, were jumping all the way into. So uh, I had it. Um, my husband did not have it. He was taking care of me at home, um, speaking with my primary care physician, giving me breathing breathing treatments, um, giving me my medicine every four hours. He was um, in constant communication with her. Uh, eventually, he ended up testing positive uh, within a week after I got it. And just and prior to me going into the hospital room, she could see she was seeing me. She could see she was seeing me every day on FaceTime and walking him through administration meds. And uh, when he goes to... <laughs> <laughs> Keep the character. <laughs> to me, going into hospital, um, she could see she was seeing me every day on Facetime and walking him through administration, administrating meds, and um, when it go to when it got to a point 
my temperature had raised right to about 103. And my breathing was extremely shallow. So um, he called the ambulance. So I had to go to the hospital. I was discharged. The hospital needed beds. I was able to go home. She clears her throat and continues. I go home with oxygen. I have home health aides come check on me throughout the week, which is what happened for a period of four weeks after being released from the hospital. So people were definitely seeing me. The people that could actually say something are not allowed. Two, because of HIPAA, because of HIPAA law. But I was being seen several times a week by home health aides after being released um, on oxygen. And I, I actually just got my first clean T-Rex test possible, probably exactly a week ago. So I have what is called long-term T-Rex. Um, and I'm facing a very uphill battle um, right now. So um, I have a lot of rehabbing to do. Um, I suffered a lot of internal damage. So I, um, I have a lot of rehab to do before. I'm able to do what I like to call concert ready. Again, um, following the year, I had losing so many people. Um, I had just lost my grandmother before I was diagnosed. And um, I just need, I feel like the only way I can focus on me is to actually focus on me. There were people, I don't know how, fans or whoever they were coming to my house, people ringing the bell, leaving things at my doorstep, disturbing my neighbors all the times of day and night. I've had had that happen. It got to the point, and this wasn't months ago. I literally just left my house maybe a week ago because I couldn't rest there. My doorbell was ringing. My doorbell was being rung all hours of the day and night. Um, I turned off everything. I wasn't on social media. It hasn't been two months since I've seen my sister. It's been a year. I haven't been in the same room with her since my mother's funeral. Prior to that, we hadn't seen each other all pandemic long. That's not for us. That's not new for us. It's not new for us. We've been strained for a very long time. I was never missing. I was never missing. I was in my home. I was being seen by my doctors. First and foremost, the two people in the house with T-Rex, we both had T-Rex. Um, there was no visiting. There was no visiting the house. We both had active T-Rex cases. Everyone in my family knew exactly where I was. And I have to say, it's really disappointing that things came to this, but it was not true. And even when it comes to my daughter, I, I feel like she was easily manipulated. She's, people are saying she's a kid. She's not a kid. She's 27 years old. She's my youngest. But in that situation, she was easily manipulated. And to, to go along with that, um, she's my baby. I have never been in danger. I am not in danger right now. I am focusing on putting myself first. Kelly, tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. What? Tell it like it is. Oh, I don't know. Oh, weird girl. No, those <laughs> bluesy people sing. Gunsmoke blog, thank you for popping up in my feed. So I'm giving credit where credit is due because it's fun to cite sources because it's sharing. You don't necessarily have to share um, gratuity 